In today's video, I'll give you a quick overview of my Premiere Pro Essential Presets Pack. And after that, we will be making this editing demo that you can see on the screen right now, using only a small selection of presets. Hopefully, it will help you to better understand how to make the most out of the presets and unlock new creative possibilities in your projects. First of all, to start, just right-click the Presets folder and select Import Presets. Then, find the downloaded file and open it up. Before we start editing the demo, let's take a very quick look at what's inside. First up, we have a nice selection of all kinds of video presets, ranging from basic to more advanced ones. Then some very handy audio tools some smooth slide animations, as well as zooms for every direction, two sets of subtitles, both for lower third and centered placement, some smooth and impact shakes, the new trendy character animations, and lastly, some smooth transitions. Now, as mentioned, I'll show you my pre-recorded editing demo while making some comments along the way. So I started by applying a camera crop preset to the nested face cam layer, and then added some color correction presets to most of the clips to make them pop more. I then added an adjustment layer on top of the first clip and applied a subtle smooth shake effect. Since the clip was in full screen, I made sure to apply the mirror preset first before adding shake to get rid of the dark edges. Next, I added two adjustment layers, one for the zoom in and cinematic in presets, and the other one for the zoom out and cinematic out presets. Then for the transition, I added an adjustment layer above the two clips and made sure it was perfectly centered on the cut. To do this quickly, I held shift and clicked the left and right arrows to move it by 5 frames at a time. After that, I applied the zoom in transition as well as slide in bouncy preset to camera crop layer. For the nested icon, I added a logo shine effect, a glow effect, and made the corners slightly rounded with a second strength preset. I thought about adding a thicker border, but then decided to go with a drop shadow preset instead for a modern look. Then I applied some smooth shake, as well as sliding up and slide out down presets. To make the icon feel more in focus, I added two more adjustment layers below it and added Blur in Dark preset to the first layer and Blur out Dark preset to the second one. Then to make the play feel more impactful, I added two more adjustment layers and applied Impact Shake Zoom In and Flicker to the first layer and Impact Shake Subtle Zoom Out to the second one. For subtitles, I pressed T on the keyboard and clicked anywhere on the video preview screen to create a graphic layer. I then applied the base Arial text preset from the lower third folder, duplicated the layer a couple of times, wrote some text, added a paper text effect, and then applied subtitle pop-in presets. To improve visibility, I also added two more adjustment layers below the text and applied the dark background in preset to the first layer and the dark background out preset to the second layer, creating this dark blurry separation between the text and the background. I then also added another couple adjustment layers on top to zoom into the face cam and back. Lastly, to showcase a couple of character presets, I started by adding an adjustment layer below the character and then applied a strong dark blurring preset as well as some vignette on top. Mm -hmm. 
Then I apply the character chic preset and one of the character appear presets. After that, I just played around with all sorts of animations. To finish, I also added an adjustment layer on top and applied a constant slow zoom in preset. And just like that, we are done. It's worth noting that almost all presets have a short instruction that will pop up when you hover over them. And obviously, if you have any questions or something doesn't work as intended, I'm always here to help you out. Keep in mind that I'll be adding more to this pack over time. However, once you purchase it, all the future updates will be free. If you want to test the waters first though, I have included a link to 10 free presets as well. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you later. Bye.